What up, what up, and greetings. Today's video is quite special, for me at least, because it's exactly bang on three months since I posted my first video using this camera that I'm talking to right now and using Final Cut to edit it. I wanna give a bit of a breakdown as to what happened and what the plans are for the upcoming weeks and months. So right now I'm sitting on 62 subscribers that's up about 45 from when I started, which is okay-ish, you know, it's about 1.5, 1.7 subs uh, per video because I put 35 videos out. It's quite a slow growth, but I was expecting that. And for some people, it might not be such a slow growth because they might be doing their channel for months, but not putting out that much content and they might be like, oh, I have only grown five subs in the last couple of months, what are you talking about? But people that do uh, sub for subs and people that, you know, do things that are really popular right now, like fail videos and vlogs and things like this that I don't necessarily want to do because I'm not doing the channel just to gain popularity. I want to make a channel that I will be proud of and that I would watch. That's the reason why I'm not doing sub for subs. And I won't do it for anyone. If you want to write to me and tell me to check out your channel, I will do it. But if you write to me to sub to you, then I won't do it because there's no reason why I should ever do it. By all means, if you want to collaborate, if you want me to check out your content or give me my opinion, then let me know where it is. But other than that, I am sorry, but I will not suffer subs and I will never start doing that because that's not how I want to grow my channel. Not by shout outs and I just don't want to clutter my channel by this sort of thing. At the beginning, I was doing cooking videos, then I was doing Hearthstone videos because Whispers of the Old Gods was coming out and it was the right time to sort of get into it. That's where I also learned the most about just talking into the microphone and talking in camera and editing the stuff. And it's given me quite a lot. Uh, those videos haven't got much views, but it was decent enough. And I've got a bit of, you know, of the hype that people were searching for uh, before the expansion was released. Uh, then I did a video about World of Warcraft, then Warcraft movie review. Yesterday I did an unboxing for Overwatch. So quite a diverse spectrum. But that's sort of a thing that I want to keep up. I know that my channel is doesn't have a niche and will probably never have a niche, unfortunately. But I think that I would like to concentrate on two or three things rather than just one thing and make it just about gaming because I'm the sort of a person that gets fed up with things quite easily and just needs to jump in between things. That's what my aim is and I might specialize eventually into just doing one thing but at the moment I just want to try as many things out as possible. First of all let's go over some of the positive statistics from YouTube reports. It doesn't include some of the latest videos that I think, I hope, will do pretty well because that's the Warcraft review and Overwatch unboxing and all that good stuff. The best the most viewed video is Whispers of the Old Gods card review number 6, which has 371 views. Then total watch time of my videos for the last 3 months since I've actually started doing it properly is 11,171 minutes. And that's crazy, you know, that's amazing for me because from 4,398 views have watched my videos for 186 hours. That's 7.7 .7 days someone's actually watched me or listened to me talk. And that's, you know, that's a good result. That's a bit of feedback or not feedback, but a bit of information that really gives you a boost to do this stuff more. And if people can listen to me for that long I must be doing something right, right? No, maybe. Average view duration is 2 minutes 32 seconds, which is not great. And it varies from video to video. Uh, my top two brawl video has had 42% uh, of the video watched on average, which is 2 minutes 48 seconds. Uh, that's quite decent, in my opinion, but some of the videos have had 10% of the video watched on average. Uh, which is also due to the fact that I click onto the videos quite often just to edit them or do stuff like that. And there's like five seconds watched. So it brings the average lower, but it's still not great. My longest watched 
time on a video is my Heladin It Works video, which has had 1,166 minutes watched. That's 19.4 hours. Again, crazy because the deck is incomplete and it was one of my first gameplay videos. This one when I did one with the camera and face cam. So that's quite an incredible result for me as well. And in total, I've had 312 likes and 16 dislikes. It doesn't really speak for much because some of these likes might have been mine or my friends and stuff like that. 16 dislikes is little, but it's quite you know a high number compared to my views. I think the best part of the experience of doing this is actually all the stuff that I learned. So at beginning, I couldn't really record more than maybe two or three sentences at the same time. Now I'm recording loads of sentences at the same time and I don't really have a problem talking into the objective and not concentrating on the screen that is next to the camera or on other things. I don't really need a detailed script. Uh, I just wrote some footnotes, whereas at the beginning when I was making those <laughs> videos, uh, it took me sometimes a day and a half, whereas now I don't spend more than a couple of hours on each video and then maybe just doing thumbnails and uploads and uh, putting all the keywords in. takes some longer, but it's usually a couple of hours and gameplay videos don't usually take more than three or four hours to complete, which is really good. So I've gotten a lot faster with Final Cut. I've gotten better with logic as well into which I record and hopefully this process is going to be sped up even more and I'm more active even physically like in my plan I've said that I will try to exercise and run which I started and I'm increasing my distance and run and I'm just feeling you know physically better just keeping myself busy and feeling better overall is something that's really great and that's what my main aim is, to just keep being productive and keep pushing out content. I stopped being so precious about things, which in music it sometimes took me weeks or months to finish a song uh, because I was like, is it good enough? Is it good enough? With YouTube, you can't really do that. So you need to constantly be pushing and pushing and put out the best work you can possibly do, but don't tinker with it too much because otherwise you will never get anything out. And sometimes it is disheartening to see that I woke up and two people unsubbed uh, to my channel. I was like, what, what have I done <laughs> to deserve this? Uh, later on, I realized that those were the guys that subbed to my channel and wrote something like sub back. And I didn't sub back, so they unsubbed to my channel. Uh, those things can, you know, uh, sometimes dawn on you. And I wanted to give up like three or four times already. But you have to realize that this is the nature of the thing. It goes super slow at the beginning. And things like writing to other people to suffer you won't help that much. Like sometimes it's counterproductive and people will write just like, piss off, get out of here. You just have to iron yourself and just get prepared for it. And just don't let it affect your thinking because you got a plan and just stick to it. It's going to take months. It might take years before, you know, you get any decent following. But... If you try to get better every day, I do believe firmly, and I knew this before, but it's still at moments, you know, you tend to forget everything. Like in moments you are really rational about love and decisions. And when you break out with someone, it dawns on you. And then you're sad and unhappy for months because you can't really tell yourself the rational thing at that moment in time. And, you know, I'm used to negative feedback by now. I never had a bit of positive feedback from places like Reddit, but it's actually not that bad to get negative feedback because the people are actually engaged rather than people that don't write anything and don't tell you how to improve or what to change. And that's sometimes what's really needed. And sometimes that I'm actually missing the most from my videos is people not engaging and telling me off almost about my mistakes and stuff that I could work on. And I know that I've got a lot to work on because my videos are so shit, but hopefully not as shit as they were a couple of weeks ago. And I hope that I will be progressively getting better. I will be producing better content and collaborating more because that's one of the things that I really need to do more and more of. And that's the key 
to bigger growth because you share fans. But I only really want to share fans with people I like and I like their content. And I think that our fans are sort of from similar group, if you know what I mean. And yeah, something that I really want to do, but I want to have enough content on my channel, enough good content that I know that the people are going to say yes when I ask them. So that's my main thing. That's why I haven't asked a person yet, but I will definitely start in the next three months. And before I finish my video, because I don't want to keep you for too long, like I said, this is just a quick update. <laughs> quick. Just to share some of my plans that I have for the next couple of weeks and months. So first of all, I really need to sort up my buffer because I want to have a buffer in front of my videos, maybe a two or three second thing animation. Uh, and I'm still working on it or still trying to get a guy that would do it for me. Uh, next thing I want to do my spoiler heavy Warcraft review that I haven't finished yet. I know that I put out the spoiler free one, but I've just been releasing a video a day for the last four days and been on a crazy schedule and it's coming but it's just not right here. Uh, next thing I wanna sort out my gaming issues because right now I'm recording the gameplay through the microphone on my camera and it catches the gameplay sound along with my voice, but I would really like to use uh, this microphone, which is a better microphone, and then uh, get the audio recorded from the game itself, so it's just clearer and there's no hiss and stuff like that. I'm working on it, it's just software issues, and I haven't been able to download a proper version of the software that allows me to do that. Uh, I want to collaborate more, like I said, with different people, and if you're a person that would like to collaborate with me, just drop me online on moritzgarbanzo at gmail.com or just, you know, write a comment or something and I will get back to you. Just not being that negative about, you know, waking up and the video having 20 views since I fell asleep, which is sometimes bad when you just posted it on three different channels and try to get a bit of hype built around it. But I'm still learning the time zones and when to post stuff on different channels and building my following on different apps. I'm using Heart Amino app and Tube app that is, you know, pretty decent for people that could view your content, hopefully. You know, what's keeping me going is sometimes you just see a comment that makes your day. Uh, like yesterday, someone wrote... Oh, you're the guy from the Warcraft review. I really like your video. Subscribed. And that's just like, ah, you know, it makes your entire day. And if that's only going to continue and it's only going to grow and become more <laughs> usual and going to come more often, that's going to be making my days forever. And that's something that is worth working for. And eventually things will happen from work, uh, things always happen when I work the hardest for me. So all I'm going to say is in Casey's nice words, very good piece of advice. Just keep uploading because things will happen. And that's it, guys. Until I see you guys at the next one. Bye and take care. Yeah.